Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, the last full day in what is going to turn into a holiday week, um, short week, uh, which should have some fairly choppy trading. I would expect as we get into this afternoon, you're going to see things start to slow down. That kind of action always favors the bulls, especially when the market is doing this, because it's very easy just to go ahead and glide it and push it higher. My other primary concern with respect to the bears is this. They, have they rejected highs the last two days? Yes. But what they've done now is they've come in here at 98 half and 98 and they've created another floor. The low yesterday um, really needed to be a lower low versus Monday and they didn't do that um, they needed to push below 98 and get the daily chart really thinking about rolling over what they did was they left it as essentially a double bottom and the creation of yet another floor in this market this market has done a fantastic job of creating fairly easy to find floors that then the dip buyers can exploit and take higher so right now we're trading 1804 quarter. I said to my subscribers last night, and I feel the same way, the bears must trade below 98 today. If they don't, then you have a floor for the dip buyers to screw around with and to feel confident about during this very light trading for the rest of the week. And if that's the case, then we'll, we'll not only push to new highs, will make significant new highs this week. Uh, you know, in the area of, you know, 18, 13 half to, to, you know, even as high as potentially 18, 20, if the bears let 98 be a floor. I mean, it's, it's, it's a fairly logical way to think about this market, and it's a way to think about this market that has worked very well. If we're not going down, then we're going up. And you guys are like, no kidding, Mike, really? But think about it, and we make we make this stuff hard. We really do. We make it hard on ourselves. We think about how high the market has come up. We think about all the reasons why it should come down. We think about you know everything because it makes us feel more in tuned with what we're trading. When in reality, what the chart is showing you is that 98 is a floor, and the bears can't get below 98. And if the bears can't get below 98, then why wouldn't we go higher? So there's a level you can lean on. If you want to be long the market, fine. Be long the market against 98. See what see what the bears have. Make them take you out. Um, you know, it's it's really just kind of that simple. I mean, look look at what we did yesterday. Okay, this is a 15 minute chart. Now, granted. The Bears put together a close yesterday, and that you have to note that. That's significant. This is significant, the fact that they put in a close. But before that, yesterday was the same as, as all of the other days. 10 o'clock low that gets completely price rejected off of 98.75, and then we grind higher the rest of the day. This is nothing different than what we've seen consistently with this market. The only wrinkle yesterday was that they put together this close. But as I extend this chart out through the Globex, did they follow through on the close extension? No. All they've done now is make the three-day pivot, my three-day pivot today, coming at 18.10.08 support. So the first sign that we're going to go down and test 98 today is a break of 01. Because they were not able to do it all night. Europe had no interest in doing it at all. It went up off of Europe open. And now we're trading up at 04 quarter. So can they break 01? Can they break 98? 98 is the big deal. Uh, and if they can't, then we go higher. We go higher because we're not going lower. Okay. Um, tomorrow, uh, there will be no webcast tomorrow. There will be a webcast Friday morning. Uh, tomorrow is a Globex session that closes at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We do reopen Wednesday night at 6. Then uh, there's an early close on Friday that I believe is 1.15. Uh, 
uh, Eastern time. So I, I, I would do what I've done, which is go on the CME group and check out the holiday calendar, print that off, and, and keep that by you so you understand exactly what the, uh, what the ground rules are for the next few days. Okay, have a fantastic day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the chat room. Come check out the website. Uh, we're doing some great stuff in there, and I hope you'll join us. Have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Trade them well, everybody.